this extension allows you to show or hide field blocks based on a certain field value. For example, let's create a contact. And dynamic blocks is just a custom pick list field. And say if I wanted to see residential blocks down below. Currently, I see commercial, residential, customer portal address, etc. If I just pick residential, it limits it to residential block. If I do commercial, I see just the commercial block. If I go to other, it'll show all of the existing blocks. Again, this is just a custom pickle field. It can be anything like status, type, etc. If we go back to, say, leads, take a look at another example. If I were to add a lead, and then I have another field, say, hide all blocks, all the blocks are hidden, and show all blocks, and all the blocks are shown. Lastly, another example for the opportunities. If we were to open an existing opportunity and say we can show description block down below or we can just hide it and show it. And again, this is not limited to this dynamic blocks pick list field. This is just a custom field that we created for testing purposes. It can be, again, anything like lead source, sales stage, any pick list field in the system can drive the blocks to be shown or hidden. Let's take a look how those are set up. So CRM settings, other settings, dynamic blocks. And this is the list of all the dynamic blocks we set up. So we have the module, source field, and the values. So for example, if we go to dynamic blocks, say for opportunities, let's say if the opportunity type is existing business, we want to hide the custom and the description block. So I'll hit save. It's added to the list. And now I go back to my opportunities and say create a new opportunity. And I select the type to be existing business and the description block goes away.